Hi, I'm Anna Padres. And I'm Keith Norval. And we are here in our painting studio. We're both painters here in Raleigh. Um, this is an example of something that I painted, and it's kind of like an abstract uh, house. You can see it's really colorful. I like to paint with oil paints. And here's one of mine. This one is also an oil painting. So you can see it's like an owl family. And I like to do really simple geometric shapes and then like have fun playing around with the brushwork and building up the paint colors. So we are here today to show you guys how to mix your colors and do your little part for the horse mural, the Mustang mural at Martin. Okay, so we are getting ready to start. Um, so we're working with bags one through 300. Um, so with those, with those bags, we're doing the horse color. So I've got a few different horse pictures. So we'll be doing, trying to build up some texture on the horses um, for the horse, the fur of the horse. Uh, so we want like a good variety with like, you know, just different kinds of textures. Uh, and I will be using Van Gogh for my inspiration for the, for the piece that I'll do with, um, for the horse here. So I'm looking at this Van Gogh and how he built up the brush strokes um, around the, the moon shape, but I'm thinking of fur when I work on mine. Okay, so you're going to get your bag, and in it you'll find a piece of Tyvek with a number on it. So just try to keep the number on the back, and that'll help us keep track of which piece it is. If you paint over the number, that's all right too. We'll figure it out. Um, so remember, this is acrylic paint. So if you have an apron, you'll want to put that on. And if you're working on a table you really like, um, I would put something down, like some newspaper to protect it. Uh, then I have my palette here. Um, so you can use like a plastic palette or like a paper plate or just like a lid, plastic lid. Uh, so with the colors here, so we've written down the different colors on there. Or well, we missed one. We got, we've got a cadmium red medium, a cadmium red light, and a quinacridone. So I'm going to do like a little bit of color mixing. So I'm just pulling some of these colors and then I've got my border jar here to clean my brush. And so I think what I'll do with this is put like a background down. Okay, and then once I have that, then I'm really gonna start building up some of these brush strokes. So you can, with this paint, you know, if it's kind of chunky, you can let it dry like that. And what you can also do, what I like to do with this technique is you get a couple colors on your brush and then use that and they can kind of blend. Like as you actually apply the paint, it'll blend. And do some short little ones and then I'll go back with this color and maybe a little bit of that light red So I'm just going through and building up and trying to get some nice thick paint on this.
Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. I am going to use this Gerhardt Richter painting for inspiration for my example piece. Okay, so I am going to be inspired by Gerhardt Richter for mine. So um, the first thing I want to do for Gerhardt Richter, since I'm going to be pushing the paint around with stuff, I want to tape my piece of Tyvek down to the table so that it doesn't move around while I'm working on it. Um, so I'm going to just stick some tape to the back of it and then tape it down. Okay, actually corners are kind of, I might want to do the corners instead. You get a couple corners. That's a little better. Let's see. All four corners. Since it's um, curling up. Okay. So, um, I'm going to paint the background the darker quinacridone red. Just to kind of be opposite. Um, so, our thinking in this, um, there's probably going to end up being a lot of variation with this, what different students make. So that'll make it more interesting when we put these together to form the horses with. We'll have some ones that are lighter and some that are darker. Okay, so that's my background color. So now what I want to do, I've got this kind of stiff piece of cardboard paper. Um, and I'm going to use this to kind of push the paint across, kind of like a squeegee. And so what I'm going to do is take some paint and load up some thick chunks of paint right on the edge of this card. And I think I'm just going to do it all this one um, cadmium red color for this pass. So you can see how thick that is. Um, then I'm just going to take it and apply some pressure and just smear it across and then maybe I'll even go back again and pick up some of it. Okay, so that was so fun. I kind of want to do that again. So now I'm going to get some of this color red and put it on and maybe even grab some more quinacridone and put that on the card and now try it again okay so that was quick and easy and I kind of like what happened um, it's kind of subtle but it is really an interesting look Okay, so here we have Keith's Van Gogh inspired. We have my um, Richter inspired. So you guys can pick either one of these techniques or you can just, you can do your own thing with it and make up your own technique. Or you can watch the other videos and do, um, you can use the same palette with any of the other artists that we cover in the other videos.